Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another recipe for you all and it's a quickie. This can honestly be made in about 10 to 15 minutes, so it is perfect for those quick weeknight dinners that you need. And today we're making Chinese cumin tofu. It's going to be spicy, it's going to be salty, and it's definitely going to have a lot of cumin. So let's get into it. To make our Chinese cumin crusted tofu, we're going to need tofu, salt, pepper, cumin obviously, and crushed red peppers. If you don't want to use crushed red pepper, feel free to use chilies. That's typically what would be used. I just didn't have access to them right now, so I'm using crushed red peppers as a quick substitute. We'll also need onion, spring onion or green onion, soy sauce, and a bell pepper. To get started, we're going to cut and cube our tofu. You could technically do this any which way you like. If you want long slices of tofu, that's perfect. I tend to like them as cubes, bigger cubes, so that's what I'm going to do. But it works just fine however which way you like it. And so these are the kind of pieces that I will be using. And then we'll just get them into a pan of hot oil. I've had people ask before how it's possible to get tofu so crunchy, and really, it depends on very few things. One, you want a tofu that's not totally waterlogged, so pressing your tofu before using it is really helpful, otherwise it's just going to stay relatively soft. The other thing is you want to have a pan that's high heat, but not too high that it's just going to scorch the tofu. So really a good medium heat is good and you want your pan to be preheated before putting the tofu in. And then the key is really just patience. You know, let them brown. As you can see, some of these sides still aren't brown. That's fine. The rest of them are getting that nice golden color. And it's kind of like a rule of thumb, like by the time you finish flipping over one half of the pan, the other side will be ready to flip over. So, you know, it'll just take some practice, but just let them go. Don't worry, don't stir the pan. Don't feel like you have to keep moving them. They'll be good to go. Once your tofu are sufficiently browned and crisp, then you can add your soy sauce. Not too much. Add your bell pepper. You can see it browns up really quickly on the tofu and gets that nice extra crispy coating. And then we want to throw in our cumin and salt and pepper and crushed red pepper. So we'll start with some salt. A little bit of pepper. Crushed red pepper is totally dependent on how spicy you want the dish to be. This is kind of known for being a pretty spicy dish. So I'm gonna put a healthy dose and then a whole lot of cumin and I mean do not be shy you want these to be drenched and we'll give this a stir 
Get them completely coated. And once they're at this stage, we can transfer them to a paper lined towel plate or bowl and just let them rest while we quickly pan fry the veggies and then get everything back together. So we will put a little more oil in the pan, get all that goodness going again, and then put in our vegetables. And now you really just want to let these go, get a nice little char on them in that high heat and become more flavorful, flavorful and just soak up all of that human goodness that we had in the pan from the tofu. At this point, we can reintroduce our tofu. And that is how you make Chinese cumin crusted tofu. It pairs perfectly with rice, but honestly, I just kind of like to eat it as is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you're notified when new videos go up. And I will see you all next time. Bye.